want to know what seven lies all narcissists tell themselves. I'm going to tell you in this video so that you can have an understanding of how the narcissist actually thinks. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung, and I'm a lawyer, and I'm also a narcissist negotiation expert, and I've helped thousands of people in their negotiations actually win. And if that's what you want to actually do, you want to actually win, beat the narcissist, beat them down, then you need to do one thing. You need to subscribe to this channel. Go on. All right. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait while you do that. Come on, subscribe, 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 hit that notification bell. All right. Have you done it? Okay. All right. Now let's talk about the lies that all narcissists tell themselves so that you can understand the psyche of these people. All right. They're walking around. They think this, they actually think this stuff. All right. Okay. So this is how they actually like live with themselves. Number one, number one is they deserved it. So when they treat people, they leave this path of destruction behind them. They treat people poorly or they do something bad to somebody or they leave somebody in a lurch or maybe they stiff them with money or whatever it is that they did to someone. They think, well, they deserved it. You know, in their sick, weird, twisted way, they come up with some reason why somebody deserved whatever it is that they did to that person. That's what they say. Okay. Number one is they deserved it. Number two is I'm not responsible. Oh my God, boy, did I see this all the time. So somehow they twist it up in their mind that they end up not being responsible for whatever their mistakes are, whatever it is that they didn't do or whatever because someone else didn't do what they were supposed to do or somehow whatever the chain of events that took place was, they figure out somehow that they're absolved and therefore they're not responsible. So that's number two. I'm not responsible. That's number two. Number three, remember we're going on seven lies, all narcissists, tell themselves. Number three is I didn't do anything wrong. And this is especially true when they're looking back on relationships that went bad, when they're thinking about an ex, you know, it could be an ex spouse or an ex boyfriend or girlfriend or an ex business partner. I didn't do anything wrong. Number four is very closely related to that. Number four is I was wonderful to them and did everything right. So, you know, between number three and number four, they just tell themselves how wonderful they were and didn't do anything wrong for their exes or whatever. I can't believe that this person left me or that they badmouth me because I treated them like a queen or a king, or, I mean, I can't believe that they filed domestic violence injunctions against, I never laid a hand on them, you know, or whatever it was. I don't know if they believe their own lies or whatever, but I'm not responsible or they deserved it. I didn't do anything wrong. I was wonderful to them. These are lies that they tell themselves. I don't know if they're like delusional, if they believe their own lies or whatever it is. But by the way, I have a whole video on what happens when you catch a narcissist in a lie. You can definitely check that video out. We'll put a link to that here. But if you're not buying it, I want you to write not buying it in the comments below. Anyway, uh, number five is I'm the smartest person in the room. I'm definitely the smartest person in the room here. So that's number five. Number six is I'm not a narcissist. They truly believe that they're not a narcissist. So that's number six. I mean, they're not self-aware. Unfortunately, 
that's part of the problem with being a narcissist is they're not self-aware. You know, they're never going to take the time to be self-aware. And, you know, that's part of the reason why narcissists won't ever get the help that they need because they don't take the time to be self-aware, unfortunately. And then number seven is that they truly believe that everyone else is out for themselves, that everyone has an agenda. They truly believe that everyone is as bad as they are. And I think that that's part of the reason that they feel justified in a lot of their behavior. I, I don't think that they really believe that there's that there are good people in the world, that they really do believe that everybody else is out for themselves just the same as they are. And that's kind of how they justify their behavior, I think, a lot of the time as well. These are some of the lies that they tell themselves. I'm sure it's not all-encompassing list, but it is definitely a list of good, a good seven. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of these. If you guys have more, I'd love to see some of your comments below. And um, if you're dealing with it, please feel free to join my free private Facebook group. Don't do this alone. Narcissist negotiators, grab my free crush, my negotiation prep worksheet, when my negotiation.com free. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'm so glad you're here. You know, remember, it's always a good day to start negotiating your best life. You know, they're delusional doesn't mean you have to be, right? Okay. All right, you guys. I will definitely see you in the next video. We got this. We're slaying. And today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. See you in the next video.